I don't know who needed to hear this, but I got to tell you. You must be some kind of amazing if you think about all the things that have come up against you and you're still here. All the things that tried to stop you from getting to where you are now, to stop you from trying to have confidence and self-esteem, and yet you made it. Question, who are you? Or at least, who could you be? Answer, part of the eternal force that constantly confronts the terrible unknown voluntarily and part of the eternal force that faces chaos and turns it into productive order and all of this being very difficult to understand consciously but vital to our survival is transmitted in the form of the stories that we cannot help but attend to and it is in this manner that we come to apprehend what is of value what we should aim at and what we could be when you're stretching out when you're taking life by the collar you're going to get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you will discover some things about yourself that will begin to electrify your personality. You'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got. One of the greatest steps towards success is self-confidence. And the greatest builder of self-confidence is self-esteem. Doing the things you know you should do so that at the end of the day, you have this great satisfaction. The old prophet said, the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Not the sleep of a goof-off man. Not the sleep of a joker, no. The sleep of one who labors. That's the sleep that's sweet. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. In order to have what you want in life, you must stop staring at the top of that mountain. You must stop creating excuses for why you can't or don't feel like it. And you must put your head down and look at the first step in front of you. And then you must take the action and start walking toward what you want. I don't believe everybody can be the biggest and the fastest and the strongest and the smartest. But I believe you are number one when you get up in the morning and say, today, I'm going to give it my best shot. I believe you're number one when at the end of the day, you can honestly look in that mirror and say, today, I gave it my best shot. Winning is in all of us. We all want to win. But the path people take to get to winning, Everybody wants the end result and they want to feel the sugar and the, 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 the confetti and all that other stuff. But what you have to endure to win, no one wants to talk about. The reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you through those challenging moments. So boy, don't you stop now. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you find this kind of hard, but I'm still going, boy. I'm still climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Well, life for none of us has been a crystal stair. But we must keep moving. We must keep going. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. Moments away from beginning your journey through life. Moments away from starting to change the world for the better. It will not be easy. Start each day with a task completed. 
Find someone to help you through life. Respect everyone. Know that life is not fair and that you will fail often. But if you take some risks, step up when the times are the toughest, face down the bullies, lift up the downtrodden, and never, ever give up. If you do these things, the next generation and the generations that follow will live in a world far better than the one we have today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. Some of us were stuck. Some of us were stuck. Because we don't understand the how. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna survive. I don't know. If we allow the I don't know to keep us in a place that we know it's not meant for our life. See, we don't have the courage, and that's what it takes, courage. It takes guts to do that which you know you need to do. If you don't have the courage to act, life many times will move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt so bad, you will be so miserable, you will catch so much hell, you say, yes, I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. The biggest purpose in life isn't all that shit. It's how you respect yourself, how you look at yourself. That's in every fucking journey. Those are the biggest words of all time as far as respecting yourself. So look at this dread and punishment. Look at those words as a lifestyle. Stay hard.